Most of you probably heard of that Mizizis game jam where four game developers jam off the same art kit. And after such a long time of waiting I was finally still not invited. But Tantan did the same kind of jam and I was part of it. For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, we got an art kit and had 72 hours time to make a game with it. This took place a few weeks ago, but coincidentally Tantan chose the same art pack that is now the art pack for the official public Mizizis jam. So hippity hoppity, my game is now also a submission for that jam. <laughs> but now let me show you how I made Kenny War. First, the art pack is ginormous, so in the beginning I was completely overwhelmed. But I knew that I always wanted to create a cool strategy game, so it was time. And this was actually a very stupid decision. With only 72 hours on the clock, making a complete strategy game? Yeah. But once I started, there was no way back. I began by investigating the tile map and drawing some random buildings that might get into the game. I quickly finished the big castle, which will be the main building for the player as well as for the enemy. The goal of the game is to destroy the castle of the opponent while keeping your own castle alive. And you will do so by placing buildings which automatically spawn units that head for the enemy. After the planning I crafted these 9 buildings, very ambitious by the way, and I assigned different units to them. We have melee fighters, ranged guys and mounted soldiers. So there are 3 different types of buildings and units and each building is upgradable 2 times to improve the unit it's producing. And with those buildings done I quickly made them placeable. The problem, you could place them wherever you want, so I created a grid based placement restriction. The grid have to touch another grid but no other building to allow build placement. And if you can't place the building the grid becomes red and that's a no no. But since I was over ambitious when I planned the game I also needed to implement upgrade buttons for each building. And this worked perfectly fine without any problems whatsoever. Just kidding, I once again tried to use my nemesis, the mouse over function and this function is just garbage. It's the fourth time I tried to use it in a game and every time it's the same. It's just not working how it's supposed to work! Seriously. I want this function and all of its relatives to suffer. I wish it to step on Lego without any shoes. I hope someone drives slightly slower than it would like to on a busy road. And I hope it wakes up 4 minutes before the alarm goes off. Do you mystery to me? The mouse over function is just a joke. Ever tried to use this useless piece of it's just not working as intended and there's absolutely no freaking reason why this worthless piece of code should exist. <coughs> Dear Mr. Unity, I've tried to use the mouse over function multiple times now, but I got the feeling that there aren't many useful scenarios for this function. As soon as a second collider overlaps with the object you want to use this function on, it's not working as it should. I would love a change because the main idea of the function is great. By the way, follow me on Twitter to sign this petition and to see the stuff I'm working on before anyone else does. Um, uh, where was I? Ah, I managed to make the upgrade button working and finally was able to craft a great city. But endlessly building would probably be a little bit boring so I needed to implement some sort of money. And therefore I got this 10th building which I call the money house. You see this little coin effect? That's how money gets generated. One game design problem I had to tackle was inflation. When the money house always costs 5 bucks to build, you can very fast grow your income in an exponential way. As nice as this would be in real life, it's just not that much fun. So I fixed the issue by linearly increasing the cost of the money house. I just needed to make upgrading buildings also cost money and the city building part of the game was done. 
time for the fighting part. I started by implementing the A-star pathfinding algorithm so my little soldiers can walk around the buildings heading for the enemy's castle. This works perfectly fine as you can see. But once I remove friction on the buildings, even high numbers of soldiers don't get stuck. But the real fun only starts when you meet the enemy. Epic battle. Oh yeah, and soldiers also love to attack buildings. I also created animations for the horses and the archers, which definitely didn't cost me a whole couple of day. <laughs> That's a lie. And I definitely didn't have the problem that archers were just way too OP because they just slide away from attacking enemies. Nope, ah, such things don't happen to me. Never ever. But in the end we have a bunch of different units which can lead to interesting fights. Time to build an AI. Perfect. I must admit that I had almost no time left, so in the end it was a very simple AI that just randomly built those buildings. But it worked and I even managed to create three different difficulties. Okay, they only differ a little bit by the amount of money they generate, but it works. Yeah. I finished my first strategy game in time and here's what the other jam participants think of my game called Kenny War. I'm super. All right, now we have Yannick's I think tower defense game. I don't know much about it. I'll probably start on easy because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, epic music. Here they come! Yes! Hey! He's coping my strategy! Are these generating me money? Oh yeah, I think it automatically does. Okay, upgrade! Boom! Oh, will that spawn new enemies? He has a spear, does this... Uh, the guy's a spear? No! Hey! My people! They're stuck! Maybe a good strategy is to put your money in the front so that they, like, attack your money stuff instead of attacking, you know, your expensive stuff. Oh, I won? Oh, nice, nice. I'm not really like a true gamer until I beat it on... I'm fascinated by the sheer amount of units on my screen, which for some reason don't make my game lag. It's not looking good. Come on, people, come on. No. What? I win. His defense was probably not so good on the upper side. I didn't even notice I was winning. I love that it is crystal clear where you can place your buildings, what they will do, also who your enemies are and well how to win. But my favorite part about this game is how you implemented building upgrades. You made good use of an art pack and you just made buildings taller and they look awesome. For 72 hours like having a whole tower defense game is pretty impressive. Yeah 10 out of 10 would definitely play again. It's a fun game, it's a fun game. Thank you guys. Now that the jam was done, I just made some small changes. I improved the AI, added some particle effects, a little bit of post-processing and here is my final game. You can play it now on itch.io and if you participate in the Mrs. Jam, you can also rate it and give me 5 stars, baby. That would be nice. I hope you enjoyed this video. A big thank you to Chan Chan who created this awesome jam. Please go to his channel and subscribe to him because he makes awesome videos like this one, which is the video for this jam and it's really neat, you should watch it. Or you should watch this video if you haven't seen this, because this is the video for the game I made for Brecky's jam. Have fun! <laughs>